I'm just going to do a little video of the, I guess, the, my first time using one of these telemetries for the ZTW ESCs. Um, I've never had one before. Com I'm very confident saying that Joe's never had one before as well, considering he doesn't have a smartphone, doesn't like using them. Um, so you need to download the app on your phone, which I've already done, and it should be open when I unlock that. And we're just, uh, yeah, just going to just plug it all in. They've worded it a little bit, I'm not going to say bad, but just, just, you know, in the order of doing stuff, you know, you're going to want to plug this in first, read everything later. So it says on, says here, you know, like what it's, what it suits, which is all well and cool. And, um, down here on the very last line, it says you need to match the colors up, which most people with a brain would think that, but so yeah, just don't, don't catch yourself out on that one, but plug that in. Right, so we'll boot up the app. Yep, that's all right. Okay. Um, so we've got nothing. I guess it's Bluetooth. Is that what it says here? have a name but I know that's my radio outside and that's the GoPro that I'm wearing right now so go with that that's it so when you're looking for it if you get if you buy one it's under BLE I don't know why so this should be live I think data yeah yeah cool all right what do we go to here settings i'm guessing that would be to change stuff either in here or on the phone i'm not 100 percent look into it what is this all right <clears throat> three point two cutoff Oh yeah, okay. So max RPM wasn't logged for whatever reason, but we've got max uh, amps, which is more important. Max ESC temperature, also more important. Obviously you wanna know how much you're spinning things, but you know, if you're gonna pick between the two or three, which one are you gonna pick? I'm not sure how you would do it, but say you're holding it on your controller and you want to look at something while you're driving, rather than trying to look through these tiny little screens at it while it's all happening this is so you can just see currently what amps is being drawn or currently where your batteries are at pretty cool these are going to be available on the on the site it's good that you can log stuff you know if you're doing a prop test or whatever and you want to know how hot something got or how many amps it drew this is the way to go rather than just you know doing it the way we've been doing it which is drive it and then come in and touch everything and hope it's all right which works but it's better to know exactly everything so look forward to using this and so now we've got to find a place to mount this thing in the boat, so I'm just thinking I'll just double-sided tape it on here. But I'm not sure. I'll have to try it with the lid on and off and stuff. Maybe up here would be a little bit better, get a bit higher, a bit easier for it to connect to the phone. But uh, I'll have to actually use it and see how that goes first before making any decision there. But, uh, yeah. All right, we've got the, the Bluetooth module in there now, connected to Brock's uh... phone. Okay. What temperature is it at here, Brock? Uh, well, it was on 15 and then it just dropped down to 14. So I think it's getting used to it, but it's... My car said it was 8. So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's cold. I think 14 is optimistic. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just do like two laps with this and see, what it, see if it still does exactly the same speed as it did yesterday. No, with the SR thing off. See what happens. I'll have to stick over there if I don't want to get caught in their lines. That'd be bad for me. Just come over here. So does that still read? Yeah. Still read? Yeah, it actually does. I don't, I don't think it's going to read forever. Uh -huh. 
trying to avoid this stuff. There's a big log on the other side. Just there. Cut it, so. it cut out then? Yeah, but I think it should stay recording inside. There. Should. Oops. Ooh, I think I, I think it stopped. Ah, my rudder's gone. All right, do we get any readings on there, Brock? We got some. Yeah. So the ESC is up to 32. Do we get a max um, amp draw? And we will see the speed while you're looking at that. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. So it does the SR setting rob speed or not? Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem right. Did 90 k's in it yesterday, did 79 today. Yeah, right. Very strange. Same prop, haven't changed one thing on it. Exactly the same batteries. Haven't changed any settings. So, okay. don't understand that. Okay. So, we've got a max ESC temperature of 44 degrees Celsius. Yep. Um, it won't be <laughs> no, we drove it back slow, yeah. Yeah, I know. 30. When we bent the rudder. So down 26 now. So it's probably was about right when it got here though. 19, 26 <coughs> on the motor, 26 there, and 18 on the batteries, 20 on the batteries. And the max amps it drew was 181. Oh, okay. So, so it does if tell you had you the that. stock ESC, it wouldn't have been any good. But are they 170? 160. 160, there you go. So it would have um, cut out with that for sure. Possibly. They have a burst. Like they, they have a, burst, a, yeah. a quick thing that you can peak up to, but you just won't be constant. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I'd like to run it again, but I can't because the water's just so bad out there. There's just so much stuff out there. Just gonna be hitting things. I'd really like to t turn that SR thing back off and see if it went back to 90 k's an hour. But oh well, we're finding stuff out.